here we have a three-year-old thoroughbred that's raced 10 days previously. Uh, six start this preparation, which is quite a lot of starts for a horse in our area um, in a preparation. It's pulled up lame after galloping and been referred in for a lateral condylar fracture. So we don't really need CT to diagnose the fracture. We know it's got a fracture. Um, but for us, because we now have the standing CT, it allows us to do pre-surgical management. And being a surgeon, you love 3D information um, before you're doing surgery. So we've done the surgery here in the CT room. We've put staples, as you can see, on the leg to try and identify um, where they are in relation to the fracture. You can see the fracture line here. You can see the sclerosis around it. This is the oblique view, just trying to see if there's a little fragment in there. And there might be a small one, but we weren't too alarmed by that. Um, so having, here we have the horse in the CT room. We've scanned the leg with the staples in, and then we've used those staples to align the aiming device, which we've put on the leg. And here Liz is um, drilling the first hole. Um, we're able to put the screws in. We're able to immediately rescan the horse with the screws in. You can see now the fracture line is gone. Uh, so we're happy with that. We can see the alignment of the screws. And one of the beauties of the standing CT is because its um, beam angle is transverse to the limb, we're not getting a lot of artifact. We get a little bit associated with the screws because the screws are in the same plane as the scan. Um, but we can see a reasonable amount of detail and that's going to um, give us good information about where our screws are and how we've positioned them. So just to show, the, show you that with standing CT, it, it enhances standing surgery. Um, and it can be done, all done in the one room uh, with relatively ease. And because it's quick and simple, um, it fits into the surgery process quite well.